Geometry and Patterns Part 1 Hey Dodo, see that painting? The one with so many lines? Yes, Papa got it yesterday. Isn't it nice? Yes, but why does it have so many lines? Oh Dodo, this is the geometrical design. Geometry? What is this? Wait, I will show you something. Let's learn about few terms. Okay. Point. A dot marked on a sheet of paper. A point shows definite position. A point does not have length, breadth or thickness. A point is represented by capital letter. For example, A, B, C, etc. Line. It is the set of points that extend in both directions. A line has no end point and also no breadth and thickness. A line can be denoted by using small letters L, M, N, etc. or by using two points on it. A line is represented by PQ. Friends, do you remember we can extend line to any length as it does not have any fixed length. What we'll be studying next? Let's see different types of lines. Okay, let's see. There are two types of lines, straight and curved. Straight lines can be horizontal, vertical or slanting. Intersecting lines. If two lines meet at a point or tend to meet if extended, then these are intersecting lines. AB and PQ are two lines that intersect at a point O. Parallel lines. If two lines are separated by same distance throughout their length and never meet, AB and PQ are two parallel lines. Line segment. Any fixed part of line is called line segment. Line segment has fixed length and two end points. Line segment here has two end points A and B. Ray. Ray is a line segment that extends endlessly in one direction. It begins at a point called initial point. It has no definite length. Friends, we have learnt about point and different types of lines. Yes, and we will learn about geometrical shapes in our next video. Till then, do revise and practice. Bye-bye friends, take care. Thank you.